on Maximal Beings, it's Doc Mock here with MaximalBeing.com. And this week, we're diving deep into the booch. That's right, kombucha. That magical elixir of life, which will both tantalize your taste buds and boost your gut microbiome. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the thumbs up down below, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want the full article, head on over to MaximalBeing.com. So let's dive on into this week's Journal Club. As a GI doctor, I see people with inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, and other uh, GI distresses. And a common link to these issues is dysbiosis, or just an overtaking of what's called the microbiome with the bad stuff. How does that happen? Well, it's a combination of bad nutrition, uh, changes during birth, your geography, the landscape around you, and then most of it, again, is what, what you put inside of your body. It's difficult to remodel the gut microbiome. It takes time and energy, um, but with, with making kombucha um, is a great way to kind of streamline that process and hack your own gut rebiosis. Of course, uh, this doesn't supplant eating garbage all the time, so make sure that you're getting in plenty of fruits and vegetables and natural foods, and the less processed things you have, the less of the bad bacteria will exist inside your tummy. How does kombucha come about? Well, it goes all the way back to Asia around 200 BC, and from there, it's traveled onwards to Germany and Russia, and then made its way into hippie um, culture, and then most recently, hipster culture uh, with Sandor Katz's a wild fermentation textbook. Presently, it makes around $600 million every year. And with that said, it's a very expensive product to buy. So we have a course coming out where we're actually gonna be going through a lot of understanding what is in kombucha and uh, most importantly, how to make it to, to save you money. So head on over to MaximalBeing.com to find out more about that course and it's also gonna be posted on Udemy. So what is in kombucha exactly? Well, it's, it all starts with this weird jellyfish-like thing called a SCOBY. A SCOBY is, stands for a uh, symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. And it is exactly like it sounds. It's good bacteria, particularly bacteria xylem, uh, actinobacter and glucuronobacter, all term kamagata bacteria after a doctor who discovered uh, this whole species as well as yeast such as uh, Candida saccharomyces and Zygosaccharomyces. The SCOBY is a cellulose structure, and so it's uh, a combination of different carbohydrates that make a matrix, and think of it like an apartment complex. On one floor is bacteria and yeast, and these all coexist together. The bacteria take sugar, as well as the compounds that are in tea, including phytochemicals to fight cancer, and turns it into kombucha, um, so the sugars are digested, which gives you a great acidic flavor, making a lot of healthy acids, and also the yeast will turn it into carbonation, carbon dioxide, which gives it the great bubble. Given that, it's relatively low uh, in terms of calories and, and carbohydrate sugar intake, and so it's a pretty healthy thing to take in. Even for people that are doing intermittent fasting, it has very little impact on your insulin spiking. Um, not all kombuchas are created equally. A lot of the store-bought brands have very high sugar and contents, and so again, making it at home allows you to control the sugar content. The first step into making any kombucha at home involves creating a SCOBY. You can buy these through the internet, but I wouldn't recommend that because they're all gonna get infected and, and moldy on top. So I recommend getting one from a friend. You can easily cut one in half or cut one in pieces and give it to somebody along with some healthy starter liquid, or you can make your own at home, and we go through all that in the course. From there, after you birth your SCOBY, you're then gonna make a uh, tea out of usually black or green tea, which is gonna ferment um, using the SCOBY and turn into the kombucha. And then from there, you go into the second fermentation process, which lends flavors, lends carbonation, and you're gonna bottle. You can use the SCOBY numerous times. You keep feeding with sugar, it keeps that bacteria healthy, it grows and grows, um, and it's the, really the gift that keeps on giving at the cost of a mason jar, maybe some unflavored kombucha, some tea bags, and sugar. What are the potential health benefits of kombucha? Well, we already discussed in my field gastroenterology. I recommend this to a lot of my patients because it's almost better than a lot of the probiotics and cheaper. Um, you wanna look for 
Um, if you're going to obtain a probiotic, something that contains lactobacillus, um, Saccharomyces, the yeast, and also uh, Bacteroides, so it's another type of good bacteria. Um, but kombucha contains all of those things, and it also contains a lot of the prebiotics or a lot of the minerals um, that will make your gut biome really healthy. There is evidence to support that kombucha does help people with inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's ulcerative colitis or people with irritable bowel syndrome. There's also some evidence to support that it can fight bacterial infections in the stomach called H. pylori. But again, with all of these health things, we recommend you do consult with your physician prior to just treating with these things with kombucha. Other areas that it's assisted with is metabolic syndrome and obesity, which are tied together, including diabetes and helping people to get off of therapies and lose weight. It can help with bone and joint problems. And it also has some uh, bactericidal effects, meaning it can kill bad bacteria. Other things is uh, multiple sclerosis. There is some benefit to show that it can help fight neurologic diseases and uh, cancer as well. Although it's not to supplant things like chemotherapy, it can boost the effects and limit damage related to radiation, as well as combat a lot of the chemotherapy side effects of GI upset. Again, if you have any other questions, we recommend you head on over to MaximalBeing.com or Udemy to take a look at our course, which goes through the history, the science, creation, and also the health benefits is a comprehensive, great thing. It's also a, a, just a small fee of about $19. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at team at maximalbeing.com. And as usual, Maximal Beings, this is Doc Mock, and I'm here on your pathway to wellness.